What's up, Hellish Sword? Welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we're going to show you how to get those SDCC downtown hotels. So watch this video. Hello there. I am the king. Dracarys. What's up, everybody? So today, uh, I just got done going live. There's a few updates that I do want to state in this video that I did not mention in the live. And one thing I was incorrect on that I want to correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk through the entire process of how to get those hotel rooms that you so desire. Now, what you're first going to do is want to go to the San Diego Comic Con website, or you should have received an email by now, um, and you can click that link and you can play around as well. So we're going to go ahead and jump right over to the Comic Con website. Now, here you can download the Comic Con hotel list. So if we do that, this is what you come up with. So there's a ton of hotels here. There's a lot of information here. Make sure you, you're, you're reading this. Okay, this is really important. I'm not going to sit here and read this to you. You definitely want to familiarize yourself with the process, just like it says right here. All right, once we scroll down to the actual hotels, you'll notice that we have a couple of different color codes. We have blue, which is your airport area. Now, these are going to be shuttle only, um, or you have to drive in. And these are going to be the cheaper hotels um, for the most part, because they are further away. You can see right here where it says distance to convention center. So five and a half, four and a half, you know, and so on and so forth. This is your minutes of basically how long it takes to get the shuttle. This tells you if you want a breakfast or not. Um, there's a few that do offer free breakfasts. And if you are traveling with pets, this is a really important column here. And it does say in red, it may be require a pet fee. The way you can get around that is uh, you don't even mention it to them. Um, Comic-Con is absolutely nuts. Unless they are specifically asking me if I bring my dogs, I don't ever say anything. This here, this first column, this is the price of one adult in one bed. Um, don't be confused with this. It, the, yes, you can have two adults. This is, this is just the way they state it. This over here is for two beds. Okay. Now, you got to be careful because you see NA. Some hotels don't even offer that. So you really have to be careful on this column. But this is basically the list. Coronado. There's only two. These are more resorts. These are further away. You know, so maybe you got one day at Comic-Con, but you want to do like a four-day vacation. This would be an option, I think, for right here. Um, and then you can kind of head on over. Uh, there are no shuttles, though, so you got to make your way yourself. Green is your downtown, which is right here. I'm going to skip through that first. I mean, that's really what we're, we're talking about in this video. But just to kind of bring in the other colors, we have Mission Valley, which is a little further away. In the pink color here, you can see uh, most of these are over five miles away. And there's a few more down here, even further. And then we have Shelter Island, again, which is probably the furthest uh, on the outskirt. Yes, they have shuttles, but you can see that the times are over a half an hour to go back and forth. Let's go over to the green, because that's what we're here for. And the thing you need to figure out here is, what hotels are you interested in? Are you looking because of price? Are you looking for distance? Are you looking because you need pet friendly? Are you looking because you want a free breakfast? It really depends upon what you're looking for. Okay. The hotels, this is new this year. So I've seen online that people are saying, well, why are the hotels so expensive? Well, first off, there's a $10 fee added on per night for each hotel to help with the shuttle service. Okay. Whether or not if a hotel uses the shuttle service or not, I don't know if that's included. So basically, you want to roll through this list, come up with, I would say, 6 to 12. I think the most is 12. You know, 6 is a good number. Always throw that one hotel in at the end that maybe, uh, you know, you don't really want to stay at, but you want to make sure you get a room. The one I always recommend is down here in Mission Valley. You do have a great view of the ocean. A lot of these are hotels in the outskirts. I don't really know very much about them. Um, so you have to do a little bit of research. Another option, a little further away in downtown, if you want to still stay downtown, 
I would recommend Residence Inn. You're two miles away, uh, but again, at least you're still in a downtown area. Yeah, you're going to have to drive in or take a taxi. If not, you're walking. You know, it's going to be a 30, 35 minute walk then. But that's that's another option. At least you're still in the downtown area. I'll link this in the description down below so you can just go click it and print it. All right. So what you're going to do is when we're going to head back to the um, Comic-Con website, one thing I want to correct myself on on the live I just did is right here, online submissions. I was wrong about this. Now, I try to remember if this was if this is new because I could have swore last year that you had to submit before you were actually in. But it says right here, forms will be processed based on the time at which a user was granted access to the form. So that means once you are in, you probably have some type of clock going because you're not, they're not going to let you sit there all day, right? You probably have 15 minutes or something like that to enter your picks. In the live I just did, I was saying that you want to quickly, as fast as possible, get those hotels in and submit it. So it sounds like this might be different than last year. Um, if I'm wrong on that, someone if someone knows for sure, let me know in the comment section because I, I remember trying to fly through it last year to get it in. Let's go ahead and go to the sample form. All right, so this is going to be the first thing you see when you pops in. It just tells you some of the stuff about uh, some stuff is non-refundable. There is a 3% fee. So if you end up canceling the, um, you know, the room, you are still going to get charged 3% of probably your first and second night deposit. So, you know, if you deposit $600, your fee is going to be about 18 bucks if you cancel. All right, so this is what the sample form will look like. So you're basically going to go through and 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 you know kind of see everything you have, and this will be like the first thing you see. It's basically the same thing as this, but this is just going to be a more basic form. You're basically just going to scroll down to the bottom. This just tells you all the fees and stuff. So if you've done your research, you you can scroll right through that. And then this does say about the three percent fee right there as well non-refundable service and technology fee. Reservation form, you're gonna go ahead and just fill all of this in. If you need accommodations um, for ADA, uh, I know that they you can you can you can call and, and contact them after the fact, but so do, you can still get your room. Uh, number of rooms needed. So if you're going with a party of uh, you know four, you probably need two rooms. If you're going with a party of six, you need three rooms, so on and so forth. So you're clicking how many rooms you need. So I need one. And then room type. Here's where it gets a little tricky. You just want to do double, two people, one bed if you're going with uh, one other person. And again, you can kind of see um, you got triple and quad. So that means you're going to need two beds. And if you're going by yourself, you just click single. So I'm going with uh, Lady Stoneheart. So I'm going to click double. So that's two people, one bed. Arrival date is going to be Wednesday the 19th for me. And then we are departing on Sunday. Then you type in each person's name. Hotel room and type preference. In the past, they've allowed you to do six. It looks like they've bumped it to 12. So you can literally type in 12 different hotels. So this is where it's important to really know what you're doing. Because if there is a 15 minute clock and you really have no idea where you want to stay, this is going to be a struggle, I think, because you're going to have to keep scrolling back up here to look. Now, granted, they do have the information and everything here for you. But if you already have that outline, all you need to do is really go fire right through it. Uh, my first choice this year is going to be Manchester Grand Hyatt, more or less just because I've never stayed there and I would love to stay there. Do I think I'm going to get this? Probably not. You know, I, I, I doubt it. It's probably the first hotel to go. But now that you can do 12, there's really there's really no reason not to do it. My next option is going to be, um, I believe it was the Hilton. And right now I'm just going off all memory from the uh, live I did. Uh, hotel San Diego One King. And you can see it puts it right below your first choice. So this is your first choice. This is your second choice. Next one. And I'm not going to do all 12 of these. I'll do like six just so you kind of get to the idea. And I believe I, I think my third one was Omni. Um, as far as hotels, 
downtown, I have stated Hotel Z, which is not on this list. That is something you have to book completely separate. I have stayed at the Omni. I have stayed at what used to be called uh, Hotel Salamar, which is now uh, Margarita Hotel. I've stayed at Andes. And then the other um, one we stayed at was the one in Mission Valley. So all five, we've had pretty good experiences. Omni is really, really nice because it's literally across the street from the convention center. The rooms are not super big, you know, depending upon how you feel with rooms. The rooms are small. But again, you know, when you typically when you go to Comic-Con, you're not staying in the room for very long anyways. So next one is going to be that Margaritaville. Because the location is pretty nice. And again, you can kind of see here, Margarita Hotel. Uh, it says formerly Salomar San Diego. One king or two queens. So make sure you click on the right one. You know, make sure you click the right one. And then I'm going to do two more. I'm going to do, um, let's do Hotel. Let's do Andes right there. And then the last one. Um, I always throw the Weston in there just for the fact that I know it's pet friendly and it's a little further away. And I, to me, it's always like a good backup hotel. It's over where Balboa Theater is. So if you know where that is in, um, you know, in regards to the convention center, you know how long that walk is. It, it's about 0.6 miles or so. So it's not bad. All right. So once you have your full list in, again, you can go up to 12. You're going to go ahead and click on one of these. Now, let's go through these very quickly. It says, if none of my preferred hotel choices are available, then you click this if you want to book me at any downtown hotel. Okay? Only at downtown hotels. So that means if, if there's nothing available for your choices, they will book you at the next available downtown hotel. So you kind of got to decide. I mean... I, it's probably a good way to do it because that way you're guaranteed to be downtown. You just don't know what hotel you're getting. Now, remember, you can always cancel, but you're going to get charged that 3% fee. The next choice here says book me at any hotel that is on the shuttle route, regardless of rate or location. So this is probably going to take you out of most of the downtown hotels, but this is going to pretty much guarantee you a shuttle route uh, hotel. Um, so again, if, if you're looking at just making sure you get something and you want to make sure you have the shuttle, then you're going to go ahead and click on this one. The next one says book me at a hotel with the lowest available rate, regardless of location and shuttle availability. So this is basically just give me somewhere to sleep. That's basically what this third choice is. And the fourth choice is if none of my preferred hotel choices are available, disregard my request completely. So basically you're saying if I can't get one of the six or 12 or whatever you put in there, then I'll figure I'll figure it out myself. In the live, I said, I'd probably click that. I probably will change. I changed my mind. I'll probably end up clicking this one just to see. And again, if I don't like it, I'll eat the 18 bucks or whatever the fee is. And I'll go to a different hotel that will probably end up being more expensive, but this at least gives me the opportunity to get something downtown. So next is email me when the general sale goes live. So the general sale for the hotels will go live. In essence, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to win the lottery here for a hotel. After all of these were sent out, um, they will cancel hotel rooms with pe for people who canceled or they will cancel you if your credit card does not go through or you don't pay. And then all of those rooms go live that were not taken in this, um, you know, in this in this lottery. And then what I do is if I don't get a hotel I want, I will keep refreshing. And throughout the next two to three months, the hotels will pop up. You know, people cancel. Um, some people will just try to get a hotel and then, you know, they, they have friends get hotels and then they decide which one they're going to stay at. So they'll end up canceling. So even though if it goes live and something is not there you're interested in, don't give up on that because I've gotten hotels before after the fact. Uh, we talked about the ADA room requests. So yeah, you just got to contact them. You're going to check all six of these boxes. And basically at that point you hit submit. And then it's just waiting till they announce the winners. I believe they're announcing the winners on the 16th. It may be the 17th. 
listen, it's it's stressful. I hope this video helped you out a little bit. This Saturday, uh, we will be live uh, around 11 a.m. We're going to be talking about everything we know about San Diego thus far, uh, exclusives. We'll talk some fun days. Uh, we'll talk about how you think you did on the hotels. Um, let me know, you know, in the comments down below too, you know, how fast did you get in? Um, typically 20 to 30 minutes. If you're in, you might have something. It does take usually, you know, usually to get the top choices. You need to get in there in the first, you know, five to 10 minutes, unfortunately, but that's just the way it works. So, all right, guys, I'm out of here. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. I'll see you on Saturday's live and we'll talk all things SDCC. All right, and don't forget, like always, keep those heads on. Have a good day.